There's millions and millions of dollars worth of priceless objects in this building, as well as the building itself. The precision that it takes to cool and to dehumidify and to keep the air quality for the priceless works of art is not easy. The architect was Louis I. Kahn, and uh, it's probably his most famous building. It's considered one of the best in, uh, in terms of natural light and, and for viewing art. I actually worked on the construction of the Kahn building here. That was in March 20th, 1972. And I've been here, you know, ever since. If we didn't take care of the conditions, then it would be detrimental to the collection. And, and you know, we want to keep this around for generations. The building being 47 years old, some of the equipment was that old. We wanted to bring everything up to current codes in terms of the air conditioning. We needed to have the redundancy of equipment for the protection of the artifacts. So we came in and looked at the infrastructure from a holistic point of view and said, what do we need to do? What do we need to focus on from a first priority to a last priority? We were looking at several products throughout the process and Texas Air Systems was consistently there, consistently answering our questions and consistently uh, helping us understand what we could get out of their products to help the institution. They gave us everything we needed to kind of understand how they were going to operate and how they do operate and then we were able to apply the the uh, products and the systems in place to, to do that. We did York chillers. We did Airco boilers. And we did Armstrong pumps. The nice thing about this product, the Airco platinum boilers, they have an on-air feature, which Larry and Jeff have a front end system that they can see and see how their systems are running separate from their building management system, which is key because it dives into a lot more information for them. Used to, in the old days, we'd have to go down and flip a switch to turn a, another pump on or another chiller on. Now it's all done with the computers, and which it makes it much easier on us. And uh, we can also you know, track the temperature and humidity much better as well. They've acted as a partner throughout the process. They've been open and transparent. They've uh, responded quickly to all our needs and requests. When you walk around and look at some of the, uh, the objects in the museum and the age of the objects, and you realize that what you're doing is helping to preserve these objects that are, you know, old. <laughs> I mean, some of them are thousands of years old. It, it's pretty amazing that some of the stuff has lasted and, and being a part of helping it continue to last is great. Being able to draw from all the good people that we have at Texas Air Systems to bring facilities like the Kimball Art Museum a solution using all of our systems, all of our knowledge, all of our manufacturers, that's what we try to do on, on every project. Mm -hmm.